Costa. Overside takes the shot and scores! I, I honestly have no idea how it happened. I know that Costa slid the puck into the slot and for some reason I was on my stomach and the puck found the back of the net. So uh, yeah, it, it, is, it is something that I'm never going to forget. Um, I don't know how it happened, I don't know why it was me. I, I think about it all the time, but at the end of the day, it, it, it's just a goal. And I think the, the championship, uh, the celebration we had as a team, the feeling we all had uh, raising that cup together was, was what I'm really going to remember. And I think it, it's those memories that, that last more of a lifetime than, than just a goal that, that was scored. Laura Stacey's speed uh, is probably her biggest strength. She stands out majorly when she shows it. Uh, basically in playoffs we would just chip the puck to her and she would just try to get past the Montreal D and expose them that way. And that's what got us past through playoffs and helped us get to the Clarkson Cup. Laura spent the 2017 season with the Canadian Olympic team, training and preparing for Pyeongchang. It was on the international stage where she proved herself to be not only one of the greatest players in Canada, but in the world. It gives me shivers. Sometimes I look back and I'm like, did I really go to the Olympics? Was, am I really an Olympian? It's still, I don't think it's really hit me yet, to be honest, but you're right, to be playing with the people and the, the women that I've looked up to all my life and uh, to kind of have that made belief on your back and that dream come true that you had when you were a little girl is, it's, it's still hard to put it into words. It's, it's something that I'm always going to remember. You know, you always knew what, what you get with her, which is hard work, um, hard to play against. Um, I know those Americans and the opponents knew who she was because of her presence and her speed and her, you know, her shot. and. She's just an amazing player, and, and the fact that that was her first Olympics, she definitely didn't play like it was her first Olympics. There's so many viewers who love the Olympics, who love watching women's hockey, and I think throughout that whole year, the hype and the passion and, and the fans we saw were so incredible, and I think that's a big thing that the CWHL is trying to work on, and that the, the sport in general is, and is to continue having those fans and that support throughout the three years that the Olympics not occurring. And I think obviously last year was an amazing experience for me. And so to be able to bring that experience back here and, and hope that we can kind of increase that and make that happen year round uh, every single year is something that I think we all aspire for this league to, to see. Any girl that's coming out, this is basically the best opportunity for them to go and play and make good money and then just travel around and play hockey, whether it be in China or in North America. Coming back after taking a year off, it is really noticeable. And I think every year, if we can keep making strides and keep pushing this game forward and pushing our league forward, there's gonna be some really huge things in the future.